everybody. Do you have anything here besides that? The tower center it right in the middle, and then there'll be 12 round bells around it. Each round bell has two people. So you'll start here, 20 birds. I'll blow the horn, you rotate until you get, you, basically you rotate all the way back until you get to where you started at. So you're going to shoot each station, 20, I'll throw 20 birds at each station, blow the horn, rotate, and then when you get back to the station you started at, then you'll be done. And everybody's done this before, right? No. Okay, so so if you haven't done it, oh, yeah, I'll get off. So we're gonna throw. We're gonna. Everybody's gonna go to a station. Two people per station. Uh, after we finish throwing birds at that station, we blow the horn and you rotate clockwise. So at the end of the day, you'll have gone through all 12 stations, and there's gonna be about 20 birds or so per station get thrown. Morning, guys. Me and, uh, me and Chris are a little out of our element this morning. We're actually out here in Oneonta, Alabama at 5J's Outfitters and gonna attempt to shoot some pheasants in Alabama. That's being thrown at us from a tower. <laughs> so uh, this is something totally out of my element and I don't know what to expect. So uh, maybe we can make a little bit of a video out of it and. What we're hoping for is to kind of get a tour of this uh, beautiful place here when this is all over with. And I know it's it's a uh, thousand acres, and I know they manage it pretty well. It's high fenced here also, so they've got some incredible whitetails here. But uh, we're fortunate and blessed with the opportunity to actually come here and just be able to participate, whether we uh, get a bird or not. It doesn't really matter. We're just uh, out here me and Chris together and enjoying outdoors and gonna film it along the way and see what happens so y'all guys stick with us and let's see if we can uh, get a pheasant and uh, it sure would be nice to be able to get a couple that way we could try us a recipe with one so let's see if we can get some You loaded? <laughs> Got him. Can we go get it? Redneck can hit. Shoot him, shoot him. Got him. Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> 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 
Good shot. <laughs> All right. Shazam. Come at you, come at you, come at you, get him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hand over. <laughs> yeah. Didn't hit it, didn't try it. Watch. <laughs> Good boy, here. What I do is I just open them up, get the breath, and cut his wings off. It's really easy to just cut his wings off.
Both wings. And there's a hole right here. You put your finger down in there, just pull it right out. Like that. Really good right there. Awesome. Thank you, man. Guys, I want to let y'all know this is one beautiful piece of property here. It's 5J's Outfitters. If you ever get a chance, it's worth it to come out. We're going to put all those links in our description for this place. But uh, they got like a huge bass lake here full of trophy bass. Whitetail deer hunting, pheasant shooting, quail shooting. What we hadn't seen yet is some of these monster bucks that's running around out here. And uh, I believe what he said, they got a thousand acres here fenced in, a high fence. So, thousand acres, that is, that's amazing, amazing. This is one beautiful place, and we are uh, glad we had the opportunity to be invited to come out and hunt this great place. So, it's a, uh, it's a once in a lifetime uh, adventure for us and uh, we're going to enjoy every bit of it. Alright guys, I'm with Jeff Green of 5J Outfitters and uh, he was gracious enough to let us come down and hunt his uh, property here today and what we're going to do is let him tell you a little bit about this place. That way if any of you guys are out there and you want to come hunt a good quality place uh, this is going to be the place that you want to come. Jeff, if you don't mind, tell these guys a little bit about your Sure. Facility. Thanks. Uh, we, uh, today we did a continental pheasant shoot. We do three or four of those every year. Uh, we're wrapping up the season. Uh, like, like you said, we do pheasant shoots, which are continental shoots. We have quail hunts, which are just call and book as you, as you, as you want. We just have an open schedule on that. And then we trophy whitetail deer hunt. What is it? Tell people what a continental pheasant hunt is. <laughs> continental pheasant shoot is uh, basically you have a tower in the center and 12 stations around the tower and we throw pheasant out of that tower and there's 12 stations uh, which is 24 shooters, two men at each station and we throw about 20 birds and then we rotate to the next station. Shoot lasts about two hours. Um, we throw about 240, 250 birds and uh, it's just a lot of good fun and a lot of shooting. Exactly. I, I was sitting there skeptical at first thinking, oh man, this is going to be easy, but it's not as easy as it yeah, seems. Yeah. It's, not, it's not easy having somebody throwing a missile at you and, and it's <laughs> flying. <laughs> so it is harder to hit than, than you would think it is. But uh, you also offer deer hunts. Yep. Do you have any kind of hogs or anything here on your property? Either? No hogs. Um, Thank God we don't have any hogs exactly. here yet. So uh, we do, you know, between 25 and 30 deer hunts a year. Um, uh, anything from what we call a management hunt, which is up to 140 inch, 139 inch deer. Uh, our biggest deer we killed this year was almost 300 inches. Wow. So, you know, I mean, a lot of good genetics, uh, uh, a lot of good age, and we don't try to overshoot it or overhunt it. Um, so what kind of weight are we looking at on these deer? The biggest deer we killed this year was 276 pounds. Dang. So generally, typically these bucks are weighing 220 to 240. Um, they do rut a long time because of the genetics. There's northern genetics, there's some Texas genetics, and then there's Alabama genetics. So these bucks are chasing does for several months, not just a few weeks like they do out in the, you know, unhigh fenced areas. So yeah. they'll, they'll run themselves down and, and lose quite a bit of weight. I mean, we did kill a couple of bucks that were 180, 190 pounds that were some of the smaller ones, but wow. I mean, that's still a pretty good sized deer. Wow. <laughs> and these bucks here, do they come from the property? Yep, all the deer uh, were either killed here um, or, you know, see a couple of skulls on the ground. Those are deer that were just found and uh, found and uh, 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 had, uh, you know, gotten in fights and and just died, but all the mounts you see on the wall are deer that came from here, uh, or some of the genetics that came, that are on this place. And you said you have a thousand acres high fence. Yep, uh, just about a thousand acres and another hundred acres adjacent to us. Uh, that the land that's adjacent to us, we high fence that and stocked it with some quality does and a few bucks, and we're just seeing what happens over there. We're not hunting that yet, and hopefully that'll be an area we just bow hunt in the future. I mean, a thousand acres, that's, 
to me that's almost like the deer would just be wild i mean they couldn't be it seems like it i mean it really is other than being able to control what's shot and what's yeah. not shot being able to put age on deer control the predator population and control yeah. an outside influence that's a right. big part of it too right. where you can control what happens. i mean we you know we see a deer and we think that it doesn't need to be shot because it doesn't have the age we we can make that decision when you when you don't have a fence you know it goes on the neighbor's property and may get shot so there's pluses and minuses to high yeah. fences i okay. like it i feel like it's it's as free range as we can get um but we do get to control the deer population and the, and the genetics and um try to cull what we don't think should be in here which isn't much but there's uh there's a lot of good deer that are killed in here gotcha good well jeff we appreciate yeah. you inviting us down and hey guys, hey guys, we're going to put a link in the description for his place here, and that way you feel free to come out and check it out. It's a wonderful place, and we had a wonderful time. And bring your family out and uh, enjoy the outdoors. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Thank you. Appreciate it.